All right, so there are a lot of applications out there that let you customize your Leopard dock in Mac OS X. Uh, I found what I think to be probably the best, however, and I'm gonna show you too. It's not best if you're in for simplicity, but it actually allows you to do some pretty cool things that I haven't seen in other applications. So the application is SuperDocker. You can just Google search it and you'll probably find this. And um, it has a few options down the side. As you can see, you can customize your dock and stacks, but you can also do uh, stuff like customize Finder, Dashboard, Safari, and all that. I'm gonna go just uh, linear linearly through all of these. Uh, on your first page, which is docking, you can uh, customize things on your dock. Uh, this is pretty standard. Um, you got your, your icon transparency, automatically hide, lock icons. Uh, if you want a 2D or 3D, if you want to align it to a weird side of uh, position on your screen, uh, if you want to make it, you know, left, right, bottom, or whatever, and then you got your customizing your um, minimizing options right here. You can also add separator to your applications or documents side, and uh, you can customize the appearance of your dock through this side. Uh, probably the most interesting thing about SuperDock is it actually lets you customize your stacks. You can uh, say, okay, draw your frame around the uh, dock stack, so you can go like this, and it draws a little gradient around your mouse. You can also customize the appearance, which is, this is something I've never seen before. So let's say I wanted a, uh, you know, white dock like that, or a white stack area. I can apply, you have to enter your user password, it's going to relaunch dock, your dock, okay, and we minimize this so you guys can see it better, but... I can go up to my stack and now it's got a white background with a really nice glow to it. Uh, you can also do, you know, a few standard colors like white, uh, blue, red, and green or another color. Um, let's actually just do the other color for fun. See, right now it's blue. Uh, let's say I want something sort of like, I don't know. Uh, so sort of like this, I guess. I don't know, like a, a bronze red of sorts. Um, Let's go with that, hit apply, password again, and it's going to shut the dock, and uh, well, I guess that sort of adds like a, a orange hue or shadow behind all of these, but uh, primarily we got like this orange background right now, which looks gut awful, but if you wanted to do it, uh, you can. Um, I'm just going to reset that to default by hitting the restore button right here, and your password get again and it's going to restore to the defaults. Next you have your finder, which you can customize. You can add a quit button to the menu, finder menu. Um, what that would mean is if you hit like command Q in finder, it would actually quit finder or, win, or launch finder. Uh, so you'd have to open it manually by clicking the finder icon down here. You also have show hidden files, which I wouldn't recommend to leave on because there are a lot of hidden files on your uh, Mac and that will just clutter up everything. You also have a uh, finder windows titles. Uh, you get your current folder name, you got your folder path, which a lot of people, especially coming from Windows as, as a Windows power user, uh, would like. Uh, I, I just tend to leave the folder name up there because I have my paths bar at the bottom telling me the path. Uh, next, you have your dashboard. That lets you uh, enable developer mode or even customize the uh, icons and crap on your uh, dashboard. So if you don't like um, this sort of you know grilled look down here on dashboard, you can uh, customize it from here. In Safari, you can uh, customize a few things. You can say, okay, open a new window in a tab instead, um, which is actually that's actually a pretty cool thing. So I'll do that anyhow. Um, which you need to quit Finder or uh, Safari to do all these. Um, you have the uh, Enable Developer menu and Enable Show Web Inspector. You know, read up on those if you want to. You can also customize the uh, gradient on the load bar of Safari. Next, you have your System tab, and this lets you. Uh, this is primarily for uh, saving screenshots, I, I would think, for the most part. You got, you know, choose your uh, screenshot uh, extension. So you, I if you want really high quality stuff, you do TIFF. You, if you want the really low quality stuff, you would go with uh, GIF. You can also deactivate shadows, which is, I think is pretty cool. I can take a shadow. It's going to relaunch pretty much everything, but if you just don't want shadows, you can go like this. And that's going to create shadow, which I have. Let me get to that real fast. So you can see there's no shadow on that right now. Um, if you don't like if you don't like the shadow when you capture Windows in, in uh, OS X, you can just do that. Let me enable that again. Uh, next, you have your display crash panel. So if your application crashes and you just don't like that crash panel, um, you can disable it. Uh, I actually leave it on because one of my applications does actually send stuff to the developers other than Apple, so I, I leave that on. 
uh, full printing panel. Uh, I don't really know, know, don't know what this is. You can research it if you want. And you have your full save panel, which instead of basically getting um, a really miniature or like really small save panel, it's always going to be the full one. And I tend to always use the full one, so I'm just going to keep it on like that. And then you have your log on screen background, which is actually pretty cool. If you don't like the uh, default log on screen background uh, for Leopard, which is the Leopard wallpaper, you know, change it if you want. Um, I'm actually going to do that right now, actually. Uh, let's check. Oh, I guess I can't choose a PNG file. I guess it has to be something like a JPEG. Whatever. Uh, hit other. Next is the other one. You can um, enable the debug mo debug modes on uh, address book, iCal, or disk utility. Uh, you can activate uh, data detector mode on iChat. Uh, in iTunes, you can disable iPhone and iPod Touch backup, or you can disable iTunes store links. Uh, not really or, but you can do both if you want. And a uh, time machine, you can set the uh, you can say backup time interval every so often. Uh, do not display message when a new disk is plugged in. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I'm going to enable that right now. Being someone who has multiple hard drives, that's actually a pretty nice feature if you know how annoying that can get. Anyhow, that's Super Docker. Uh, I really recommend it. I think it's a pretty cool application. It does a lot of things that uh, most other docking applications don't allow you to do. Uh, and it does it in a really elegant way. It's a pretty nice application. Uh, really recommend it. Two thumbs up.